Go ahead and send it. Hopefully it don't break. What is up YouTube? How's everybody out there doing today? I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Uh, it is actually a Sunday and I'm in here working because I got to get shit done. And I wasn't really going to make a video about uh, this Camaro right here. But uh, you know what? I, I felt the need I had to. There's something I need to explain to you guys about what the right thing to do is and what the wrong thing to do is when dealing with one of these LS cars. So a little background real quick. This is just getting a very simple custom grind cam, one of my uh, Lunati cams. And you know, I'm, I, I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't gonna make a video about this car, but uh, we had a little issue, it needed tissue, and it needed to be addressed. And, and that's why, you know, this is like a, you know, eight hour job or, you know, whatever, um, to do a cam in this thing. Now the intake was already on, the can intake was already on. He already had the headers on, the exhaust on, but, it had an exhaust leak. And sometimes when you get headers from companies, you get a gasket that is not a very good gasket. I'm gonna show you why. Normally, what you wanna use is you wanna use the original, yes, the original or brand new triple layer GM gaskets. You do not want to use these stupid freaking gaskets that, as you can tell, plainly leak everywhere. They do, they leak, they, they always fail. You see how, you know, for example, you see in the middle here, how it's literally breaking apart in the middle and opening up. Let me see if, hopefully you guys can see the little break right there. Um, these things are junk. These header gaskets are freaking junk. Do not, Please, God, for God's sake, do not use these things. If your headers, if you're putting headers on a vehicle, a LS vehicle, specifically an LS vehicle, anything from 98 all the way up, do not use those. Use the either the original triple layer gaskets or get yourself a set of new ones. They're not that expensive. I'll be honest with you, I usually use them over because they will never fail. They don't fail. Um, they don't compress or none of that none of that nature they're actually a very very great gasket i've never ever had one fail ever in my life um but these things here guys man these things fail like crazy and they for some reason they let the exhaust uh header bolts um loosen up as well i found that these metal ones don't allow that to happen even though you tighten it down tighten it down these will last for a long time and don't let the bolts back out for some reason these will let the bolts back out so yes, you guys are probably wondering, well, Andy, man, stop talking. We want to hear this thing fire up. We want to see and hear what this cam sounds like. Where you're going to, calm down. You're going to, okay? But uh, but yeah, I just, I wanted to specify that, guys. I definitely wanted to make a video. Uh, you know, I thought about it a little bit. And I was like, man, I, I'm going to make a video about this because people out there need to know that it's just not the right gasket to use. And how many people out there that are able to do their own headers on their cars and on these, they're very, very easy to do. They're not hard at all. Um, but yeah, so let's get the new gasket in and we're going to start buttoning everything back up again. We pretty much have most of it done for the most part. I also have to put shocks on this thing too, which is not a big deal. Very easy job for the most part, just time consuming. But, uh, let's go ahead and button this back up. I gotta get the dipstick tube back in. We already got the passenger side done. As you guys can see, uh, that was kind of a pain in the ass. There's a few little exhaust things I got to fix underneath of this car, but other than that, Let's make it happen, Captain. All right, as you guys can see, I've got two bolts started. You do not want to know how I do that because I am fat and uh, I pretty much lay myself in this engine bay to do it because I'm not tall, I'm a short guy, you know? Uh, so yeah, so the gasket's in place. We got a few more bolts to put in, tighten it all down, and then we can go ahead and put our spark plugs in next. Now, one thing I do do is I do use my little 24 volt max cobalt angle uh, ratchet to get in there and tighten them up, okay? But you definitely wanna go over them again with a 10 millimeter wrench. That was a shitty 10 millimeter wrench. This one's a better 10 millimeter wrench. Like something with a, with a good box end wrench. You wanna get in there, guys, 
and you definitely want to you probably can't see anything but you definitely want to give her a few tugs and make sure I go like that one's a little loosey-goosey that one's a little loosey-goosey make sure they are 100% tight that way they do not leak at all or there's bolts don't come loose like I said I never had them come loose but you definitely got to make sure you tighten them up properly next step is to install these NGK TR6 plugs. These are step colder from stock. I know a lot of guys use the TR55s, but after doing a cam swap, you definitely want to swap over to a TR6 NGK spark plug. Uh, that way you can add a little bit more time with the cam and everything and make some decent power. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to install all four of them. Uh, the nice thing about the fit gens compared to the older fourth gen F bodies was that back one back there was a real pain in the ball sacks to get to but what's nice about these fit gens is they are pretty pretty easy to get to uh you don't bust your knuckles up or anything uh making it happen so let's get them on and then we'll get the coal pack on and spark plugs uh plug back in get our evap tube on and our fuel line back on and our dipstick in and uh we'll get ready to fire this sucker up guys hope you guys are excited as i am to hear it for the first start all right guys car is done the freaking old gaskets are out. We gotta get a nice thumbnail here. New gaskets are in. And uh, all I gotta do is hook the jump box up to it and uh, call Zach in here to help start it. That way we can get a good uh, exhaust note of this thing. Now, keep in mind, I did not upload any tune to this car. Uh, this is a cold start on this cam and it is a non-tuned car as of right now. Uh, so keep that in mind, guys. And let's get Zach. Zach! Come here! <laughs> what do you want? I need you! I need you! You need me? Yeah, come here! Sure. Grab the jump box. Where's the jump box? Over by the toolbox there. I see. I see, I see, I see. Bring it on over here, boy. Where we, go? we got to jump. Start this car, that's what we're doing. Okay, then I'm gonna have you start it up. I was not aware you were recording. This thing's ready to rock and roll, man. New head new header gaskets are on. Cam's done. It's over here, Goofy. Put it right here. Where's where? Is Put it right here. Put the jump box right here. What? Where's what? The, where's right the there? Come on. Right here. I like when we touch hands there for a second. I'm going to kill you. I thought this is the battery. No, that's, no, the that's a fuse block, you goofball. This thing's battery? like this thing's like dead dead too. Oh, the battery's in the trunk? Yeah, the battery's in the trunk on these cars. That makes more sense. Um I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Bunga bunga? See if it has electricity. No. It locked. <laughs> no. Where's the unlock button? Just open the door handle. Oh. Where's the door handle at? Bunga open bunga. the door handle and the door will come open. There you go. We do have antifreeze in the vehicle as well. Zach's clean, that's why I'm having him get in here. Uh, make sure it's out of gear. Cool, is there electric? Is there electric? Boogie, woogie, woogie, no. woogie. No, okay, oh my God, here. We gotta find a better. I could never, I could never drive one of these cars. It's like. Why? They feel so cramped and the windshields feel so small. I'm just not a, oh, got, got power. Sounds do we like got it. power? Uh, yeah. All right. I need to move this seat back. Hold up. Hey, yeah, move the seat back. Do what you gotta do. I just I couldn't see myself driving one of these like daily. Um, prime it a few times. I want to make sure there's no fuel leaks or anything. Turn it off. Turn it on. Turn it off. Turn it on. Keep doing it. All right, we're good there. Everything's good there. All right. First startup, guys. Send it. First startup. Get and send it. Hopefully, it don't break. Yeah, it's right in the middle. You got everything moving off the headers. The 
because I touched them with my grimy hands. She's definitely not leaking from the headers anymore. I solved that issue. Damn, thing sounds good. justice i will be honest with you guys the videos never do these cam jobs justice so you can hear cams over and over and over again you'll be like oh man that cam sounds so good that cam's badass but in all honesty you really don't know because in person it sounds a lot different than on a on a video guys we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fill this system up with antifreeze um check everything out make sure everything is good to go make sure the car has heat and then uh we'll be right back well guys, there you have it. The flutes are all filled up, a little bit squirted at the top there. That's why it's smoking. Actually, it's shut it off without putting the cap on. That'll <clears throat> And uh, we're gonna check it tomorrow morning and make sure that uh, the antifreeze sucks in and it, it fills up like it's supposed to. And uh, check the oil, check the AC, fill that up if needed and all that stuff. And then off to the dyno, this car will be going to see what kind of numbers it puts down with the new Lunati custom grind cam in it. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see a dyno video of this cam, of this car at Keith's Pit Stop. I mean, it's going to be going regardless, but let me know if you guys want to see a video about it. Uh, I know you guys do like some dyno stuff sometimes, so, you know, like I said, comment below and let me know. And I'll uh, definitely make a video of this dyno, getting dyno tuned, or well, me dyno tuning this vehicle. And we'll see what kind of numbers we can bust out of this thing. It should be pretty interesting. Um, other than that, guys... Pretty much just a short little video. Just wanted to explain about the header gaskets uh, that come with some of these header products that you buy out there. Mainly the cheaper ones, the more expensive brands like uh, Cooks and American Racing, they actually come with uh, metal plaid, like metal gaskets. Not plaid, but metal clad gaskets. I would personally recommend that you still, even with those gasket kits, I still would personally recommend that you stick with the OEM triple layer gaskets for the LS engines. They're just superiorly better than any other gasket out there, especially these pieces of junk right here that come with some of the, you know, obviously the cheaper headers and stuff that are out there, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with the headers. It's just, unfortunately, the gaskets are not up to par and they just don't work as good as they should. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, Instagram, Diablo Formula Racing, and deuces, guys.